Hi, my name is Dave Purvis. I'm the Director of Motor Business Development at East West Manufacturing. And today I'm going to talk about how easy it is to reprogram our new ECR2 uh, commercial refrigeration motor. This is a two-speed programmable motor uh, for the commercial refrigeration industry. Uh, typically you would pair this EC motor, which is a high efficient motor, uh, to somewhere between a 6 to a 10 inch diameter axial fan blade. Uh, this is an example of another product which uses the same ECR2 motor um, and this is, happens to be an 8 inch version. Same exact motor, just a complete fan assembly uh, versus a motor alone. Uh, if you take a look up, I've got uh, on the screen uh, our software and uh, this is basically the interface uh, between the user and how to reprogram the motor. Now I'm just going to show you how you very simply wire the motor. Uh, to our programmer. You would just connect your blue lead, which is your neutral, to blue. Your speed control wire, which is your black lead, to black. And your line lead, which is your brown, to brown. And close that to get a good connection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the programmer uh, on the screen here. You see I'm hitting the connect button and it's looking for the programmer. There's only one programmer uh, connected so I'm going to select that and if you go down and look at the programmer you'll see that there's a blue flashing light uh, to indicate that we've now got connection between my computer uh, and the motor. So I'm going to go ahead and set the motor speed uh, to 1550 RPM counterclockwise. Uh, for speed number one. Uh, for speed number two, uh, I'm going to set this to uh, 2075 RPM clockwise. Uh, so you can see this is actually a reversible motor uh, where you can actually make it go in one direction and if you want to clean the coil or reverse direction you would very simply select clockwise. Uh, now I'm just going to program the motor, clicking the program button says programming in process. Now it asks me to check if the rotor is locked. Uh, so I very simply check the motor, see that I can't turn it, uh, and basically this is a confirmation step that the uh, rotor is indeed locked. So I'll click yes, the programming was successful. Uh, so now to run the motor just to test those speeds. Uh, for speed number one, uh, I'll just hit this slide button, and if you look at the motor, uh, it senses the position and now it's going to spin 1550 RPM counterclockwise as viewed from the drive end. It has a program ramp time so it'll get up to speed over a few seconds. Uh, notice how smooth uh, the motor is, how quiet it is. I'll stop talking for a second. Very, very quiet. Now if I want to go and uh, engage speed number two, uh, if you want to go back to the programming screen, uh, I will very simply click this button to engage uh, the control wire, which is the third lead. If you go back to the motor, uh, you'll see that it will bring this to uh, a stop position uh, after a few seconds. It will now detect the position of the motor, and now it's going to rotate in the opposite direction at the 2075 RPM uh, that we programmed. So very, very simple, uh, very user-friendly, uh, easy to do. So that's, uh, that's how we program an ECR2 motor. Thank you. How about the app? Oh, I almost forgot. We have, a, we have an uh, Android compatible, uh, same thing, uh, where you can actually program uh, the motor from a Bluetooth device. Uh, as long as you have an Android phone uh, with Bluetooth capability, Instead of using the computer interface, you can use an Android phone interface uh, and do the same thing. And this is good for our customers because they can program the, the single motor. Talk about the... the yes. Yeah. So what's nice about this is you can purchase one SKU uh, and have that preset to the two most common speeds that you use. Uh, and then uh, the customer can actually purchase the programming device from us. Uh, and be able to adjust the motor between 500 to 2600 RPM counterclockwise or clockwise so it gives them a great degree of flexibility for building multiple products where you may use different speeds between those products 
So you can purchase one SKU, stock one part number. Uh, the motor's dual voltage, so it's 115 and 230 volt. Uh, and you can basically do your reprogramming on your production line for that specific unit. So it gives, gives the OEM customer a great de degree of flexibility. Perfect. Thank you.